This is our hardware simulation lab, and so the controller that goes on the RS-25 engine is brought here, we test it out, we test um, the software out, we make sure that we can actuate the valves, we run through flight profiles. We are able to take several key functions in the J2X controller, you know, the single board computer, which is truly the, you know, the brains of the controller. We're able to take several different um, sensor cards, like pressure sensor, temp sensor, and just directly import them over to this new RS-25 controller. So we're estimating we can reuse 50 to 60 percent of the hardware from the J2X controller to this new RS-25 controller. We're concerned about safety, number one, you know, meeting performance and reliability, but also we're concerned about affordability. Okay, so we're using new modern standard processes, we're using different grade level parts, and ultimately we're going to get the controller from what SSME cost to maybe a third to half of that cost. And our ultimate goal is to have a controller that is universal enough to control multiple rocket engines. So this controller, when we're done, will be able to control you know, the upper stage engine, the core stage engine, an F1 engine, R68 engine. You know, so it's going to save money in the long run for NASA to have this true universal controller.